hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ, and I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls. And my stitched in style Frankie Stein just arrived in the mail today from Amazon. Um, also, by the way, G1 Frankie goes by she, her. G3 Frankie goes by they, them. And this is a G1 Frankie. So with all that out of the way, I ordered her last week, Friday because I did not get the Jack and Sally Collector set. So I told myself if I did not get them, I would purchase Frankie. So that's what I did. And I got an email from Amazon that she was on the way and she would be delivered tomorrow. But instead she was delivered the same day I received that email. But here's the really weird thing. Um, in my order history, she's not showing up like my order history, like I can see everything I have like literally ordered within the past three months. She's not there. My bank transaction, she's not showing up in my bank transaction history. So did Amazon send me a free doll? Because I know Amazon doesn't charge you until the item like ships or is sometimes delivered. She's already been shipped. She's already been delivered. She is nowhere in my bank transaction history and she is nowhere in my order history on Amazon. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do about that, but here is Stitch and Style Frankie Stein. She came in a Mattel Creations box. So yeah, she was like in a Mattel Creations box and that box with, was within another box. So she was shipped good, like she didn't just have a label slapped upon her or anything like that. I think maybe they learned their lesson with the Vampire Heart Dracula doll. But I kind of like her box in a way almost reminds me of um, Gulia's box. Like, you know, the Fang Club um, member exclusive doll. We only have gotten one of those and nothing since. I almost feel like she was supposed to be Fang Club member exclusive. I almost feel like she was just because of the look at, of her box with how, how like simple it is, which is nice. And with Gulux Gulia's box being as simple as it was, I almost feel like these two were supposed to be fan, like she was supposed to be fan club member exclusive. I could be wrong, but that's just the feeling I get. But here is her box. It says stitched in style Frankie Stein right up there at the top with a little pair of scissors and some chain detail. The back of her box has this beautiful like curtain, plaid curtain going on. We have some more like stitch work down here and like this little, this looks like a lightning bolt almost like with stitches on it. Oh, you can feel it. All right down there it says Mattel. And the side of the box says Monster High. I am loving this, this blue, whatever it is and if you look closely you can see some uh, lightning bolts and then we have frankie's skullette in there i love that and there is the back of the box where it features a picture of the doll i really wish we got like artwork of the doll but it's fine it says frankie stein is stitched together in a look that electrifies Stitching style with edge, Frankie Stein stuns in a deconstruction co co coacher, coacher, I can't say that word, gown that celebrates the timeless art of tailoring and dressmaking. Reminiscent of a dress mannequin, a halter bust, bustier, I think I said that right, with top stitching is paired with a ruched over skirt with asymmetric layers of creep creeperific tool accented with a dramatic chain a gorgeous cage headdress with a crown of needles and matching chain bracelets creates a high voltage fashion her look is finished with patrick skelettos with a chic needlepoint heel elegant and electrifying frankie stein is perfectly pulled together in a look that will have ghouls falling apart at the seams y'all i swear i can read I can read. It's just reading out loud. I, for some reason, can't do it, but I want to read out loud because some people might not be able to read this if it's like small. And then if I zoom in on it, it gets all like blurry. But here is her barcode. Now she is an Amazon exclusive. So I think, I don't know how well the barcode's going to do for y'all, but there's a barcode if you want it. 
but let's go ahead and get her out of the box carefully because I, while I am going to unbox her, I do like to keep like the boxes like this. Okay, Frankie is out of the box, but before we take a look at her, we're going to take a look at the Certificate of Authenticity. Stitched in style Frankie Stein, this certifies that your monster high stitched in style Frankie Stein doll materialized through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. And there is the like, little signature of the designer. Back of it is plain. Let me tell you, I believe they did vampire heart and i think they did gulux gulia and abby for g3 and they are doing amazing so i hope they keep up the great work because yeah love them here is frankie's stand it is a saddle stand um i'm noticing that holiday claudine and skeleta came with one of these stands understandable for skeleta and Vampire Heart Draculaura came with one of these, kind of understandable for her too, and now Stitch and Style Frankie comes with one, so I feel like these are going to be the norm now for the collector type dolls, which I get them, I understand the concept of them, I, I get it, you know, but the dolls wobble so badly on them, but it's a clear stand and the base is a silver skillet that's everything she comes with so let's go ahead and take a look at frankie here she is as beautiful as ever my god she is gorgeous so i just yeah she's gorgeous like there's the video you guys she's gorgeous no i just can't get over how like beautiful she is so let's start at the top and work our way down. So her hair, it is predominantly black. Like they went for an all over black hair for this Frankie. And she has these two little white pieces that are hanging down and she has bangs and she still has her two different colored eyes, but this silver chrome type of lip that they gave her, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And her hair is pulled up on top in a top knot. But to me, that top knot looks like a pin cushion. So if you don't know what a pin cushion is, it's basically like this little like cushion. And when you're sewing, you take your needle and you stick it in the pin cushion so you don't lose it. And these up here look like pins that are in a pin cushion. But this whole entire thing is just like this, this like elaborate like headpiece that just it's like all it's plastic but it's chain hanging down we have this over here that looks like a, a spoke to me and then another one and there's one down here which what is that so so that's supposed to be like the um the blade of a scissor maybe I don't know that's what it looks like and there's another one and my cat is scratching at the door to be let in okay i'm back and i opened the door to let my cat in and my cat just looked at me and then walked away so i don't understand cats sometimes but we already looked at her hair her chain detail we have these little barrettes up here that have like a little skullette in them and her earrings so i think I think her earrings are supposed to almost be like a thread with a needle hanging from them and that's actually really really cool and I just know she has like very very slight blushing on her cheeks which I think is beautiful so her top this part down here is like that pleather type of material with white threaded trim and then we have a mesh neck up here and it does tie in the back um, I'm not going to like remove it or anything, but that's really cool. I like that they have that instead of some like elaborate like sequin type of top because I think it goes really well with this like deconstructed looking skirt. So her skirt to me, it reminds me of the plaid dress that she had in G1. It reminds me of the scarily Ever After doll. I think it was Threaderella. And 
I think her sweet 1600 doll, all dolls that I had and have lost and missed them terribly. So I love it. And it's like all like bunched up and everything. And it kind of like cinches at the waist right here. I love it. And then there is like some silver like foil type of like stitch work on the dress and then we have all this tool blue and black tool that fans out around her this is beautiful beautiful and I believe the back looks like this so it's not like, you know, her booty just hanging out. She does have like a black like type of skirt back here. But this, I love how like this is supposed to be like a deconstructed type of skirt. And we have all this like plastic chain detail going around the dress, like wrapping around her. It looks like, you know, barbed wire, spokes, regular chain. And right down here at the bottom, we have a pair of scissors. Like, I think they're, like, the scissors that you use to cut the thread. That's why they don't really look like normal scissors. And then up here, this little piece, I, I'm not sure what it's supposed to, you know, be. But again, I'm like, my mind is going to pin cushion. So it's a pin cushion in my eyes. And I love this, this bracelet on her arm. It's like all this chain work detail. And it's two separate pieces, so... Um, if you know it's two separate pieces that way, like you could still kind of like pose her arm and everything. But if you wanted to remove this bracelet, because like, I mean, I don't understand why you would want to, but if you wanted to, you would have to remove like her arm right here to slip the bracelet off. And here are her shoes. So they are a silver color and the heel portion is black. This looks like safety pins to me. I mean, I could be wrong. Like, I can't exactly make out what it is, but it looks like safety pins. But I'm not positive. But the heel portion is a needle. And just be very careful if you do have this doll or you plan on getting this doll. Just be very careful with the heel because it is very fragile. And we have some stitch work along the shoe. And this is what the back looks like. And what I love... And I noticed this when I was looking at the doll that this around her ankle is supposed to be like tape measure, like tape, like measuring tape. And if you look, you can kind of see like the inch marks and centimeter marks and all of that. But that's really cute. I love that little detail. Let me know what you guys think of the brand new stitched in style Frankie Stein doll. Uh, like I said, she is an Amazon exclusive. She was $50. She is an absolutely beautiful doll. As far as articulation goes, she is articulated in the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and the knee. So basically all the same articulation that G1 dolls had. And let me tell you, holding G3 dolls in your hand and then holding a G1 doll in your hand, you can feel the difference. You can feel the difference. Like this feels so fragile and brittle and I feel like I'm just I'm gonna squeeze too hard and she's just gonna break like I, I get so terrified but I love her I think she is absolutely gorgeous I love the whole like sewing fashion type of aspect to her because I used to sew I had a sewing machine all of this stuff I used to sew I used to make skirts and blankets and placemats and quilts and all that fun stuff I just don't do it anymore because I just don't have the time to do it anymore but I like that they did this whole like sewing type of concept with her and the little scissors down here such a nice touch and the measuring tape around her ankles is a beautiful touch all that good stuff I love her she's beautiful let me know down below what you guys think and I hope to see you in the next video love you bye